So you have to you have to do some swimming, get through certain areas. I'm going to do an episode just on this new biome, but uh, I mean, I've, I've showed you where it is. It's up past and around the crater a little bit. And it's pretty easy to see this waterfall. No uh, golden chest, but oh, 100 Terra tokens. Right click to acquire. I like that they're putting those into uh, chests now. That's pretty, pretty sweet. And I'm also going to grab a teleporter to take it down to that area right outside of the water place. That way I can quickly get down here and we can start exploring and just fully explore that location. <laughs> Got a pulsar quartz rocket that landed. I can't remember if I still have a crater teleporter or not. Nope. Well, while we're making our trip back, we can see what the new tree looks like. That is pretty sweet. They're purple. Oh, man, I got to get some more of these babies. Put those in my, uh, my rainforest. What with a percentage? 600%. Yeah, see that that's why I don't keep trees around base. They just get a little little difficult to get around. Let's buy some more. Buy another tree. And can I afford another fish? 7500. Here we go. I'm gonna set this one. Let's see what happens. So what I'll what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up these four to launch when full. That way I don't have to select to launch them. So my collection rocket's going to be the very first rocket. That's the one that's going to bring back resources. These ones are strictly just to make money. So I think that's the trick too with uh, enabling the auto launch. Is you have to select it first. Select enable and then fill it. I think I was enabling that after I had uh, already filled it. That would make sense. Teleporter. Teleporter needs three. All right, so here I can show this off. So we have fabric, and then I'm going to put a thing in here for O2. Or oxygen. And there's just that slight overlap, so that saves a little bit of space. We're going to demand oxygen. Because I have a feeling after exploring that area, I'm not going to need the oxygen for anything anymore. So I'm not going to go crazy collecting up just an insane amount of oxygen. Because I, I don't even think I have a container for it anymore. I will want to take water with me. Water, food. I'm going to go back. I'm going to set this. teleporter down but like in that down area but so from my base I'm going up this hill and I'm going towards the crater I'm going to give you the directions on how to get to this new biome make sure you have a jetpack if you're going this route <laughs> There's stuff up there or not. I don't really see any way to get up to that area. Couldn't give me some oxygen, could you? So we're down to the bottom here and we go through this little area. And there's the scary pit down. What shall we call this area? Uh, underwater. There. 
We can easy to get home from here. Because I know I can just sort of explore that initial area, I'm going to do that. Not going to go crazy. I know the basic route so far. Come down here, go through this path, and here is the first structure. So this does look like a single building here. Circuit boards we can get. Junk we got to get out of the way. Worm seed. Got 500 uh, tokens. Good deal. You can definitely tell how they've slated this for sort of end game progress. <laughs> Another Tusca seed. So I think I've gotten everything in here, but we have a message. We have we have a message to read after I leave and go get oxygen. And I can quickly teleport back to base, get some oxygen bottles. There's another path that way. Good golly. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to put this in the same episode with um, the, the, base, uh, the base tour. But no, I think, uh, I think I made up my mind that this is going to be a independent episode of just exploring our underwater teleporter area. So I'm going to put some stuff away. I've got to call it a night for tonight. Um, I will be playing this more. I'm going to be going away for the weekend, so um, I will be posting the base tour video, but I might do a voiceover or actually, I'll, I'll have it go until I found that other area. That way, if other people want to explore it before I get a chance to show it off, then they can. Get rid of these circuit boards, too, and start launching some rockets up. Got some more goodies. So these should just auto-launch after I fill them up. There we go. Okay, that saves some time right there. But I wouldn't do it if I only had one. The whole reason being that if you accidentally set something up, that you might you might not have access to it until it gets back. It will not trade something, I do not believe, that doesn't have a value. And I actually got to where I depleted my first... Never mind. <laughs> Gotta say, I depleted my first uh, thing. Yeah, we'll send it. So I'm gonna be putting my tree seeds. I'm going to grab this other one too, because this is just gonna be a mess trying to get around my base and the areas. Um, once I clear this out, the trees should be gone. They are. So we're going to go to the rainforest. We're going to plant this tree. Just because it'll bother me if I don't. Because I'll have the materials already to make that tree spreader. So it is a little difficult to get out of this area. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to sort of make my way towards the pyramid because then I should be able to take my iridium portal back and not have to go through all this but that might be the, the answer going forward you can see it's a it's a little dense in the rainforest here and it's probably just easier to walk between all these trees should be able to break through there we go all right 
Put this bad boy down. Throw you here. I don't know. I don't know if it would have been faster to run back to the Rainforest Gate or go to the Iridium Gate. I keep saying gate, I mean portal. But I will be following that up. What type of tree is this? Rosia. Or do I have just a tree? I think I just have a tree seeds box. Yeah. Let's put those that in there. Take my fancy fish eggs and put them in that aquarium because it's missing one. And through the magic of some video editing, I am back. It's uh, first thing in the morning, so I might be a little tired. Just takes all this oxygen. And let's go explore the rest of the water. What do I call it? Underwater. So, I already know what was in the direction where the base was. I am sort of curious where this other direction goes. So that goes to the base. But this little section over here, where does this go? To a chest. <laughs> All right. I was hoping for more. And just because I haven't used it in such a long time, I want to get back to this structure here. Sort of look around the exterior of it because we have some stuff down here. Don't look like there's anything down there. Let's come back up here. And what I want to do is I want to use one of my bottles. Okay, cool. So I can use those. See what else we have here. We have oxygen, so I feel a lot better. <laughs> I'm sort of take my time through here. Now this is just awesome. I love how they did this. All right, let's read this. The shelf should not exist. That's what we've been told since we were born. As one, we live. We are the wardens. Our one united without individuals in the group does the concept of a group can even exist if there are no en entities. But when your own existence is threatened, when your self can disappear, how does one can really be self selfless? These are written so weird. Is the urge to survive really incompatible with self selflessness? A warden. No idea what year. It's got larva spawning, spawning down, spurning, <laughs> spawning down here. All right, let's see. I'm trying not to fly through this too fast because I don't want to miss anything. This looks like it takes us out somewhere. Neato. Is, it, is this the surface? These are steps. It's a big staircase. Oh, it's a whole new warden structure thing. Do we get more story? Okay. So same as the other place. You can't use your jetpack. So you gotta be a little careful. Have another tablet. We want to survive. Waiting for a certain death is not selflessness. It's suicide. It's self-destruction. Some of us have has chosen to leave before 
the inevitable, leaving behind us the destruction, and our beloveds who think that fate is greater than choice. Ooh, are we going to find a warden method of escaping? So we have these things. Some froggos. So we're able to navigate between each one of these. So even if I fall off or go explore around, I should be okay. Oh, there's more. What the future will be for us? What is our destiny? We believe that we can survive, find another place, build a new colony once again, as we already did long ago. We can do it again. To our sisters, brothers, mothers, fathers, peers, we are sorry. Okay, so how did you, how did you leave? Sort of what I want to know. Oh, there's a structure over there, too. I wonder if there's a way up, because it looks like there's a tunnel. I wonder where I'm at on the map. Okay, let's see if we can get into that tunnel over there. Oh, right, don't be rushing too much. Golden frog eggs. I'm just not misinterpreting the graphics or something. No. From over there. Look like a tunnel, but I might have to do a little bit more exploring later. Considering I found the golden frog eggs over there. Let me go see if we have any more frog froggies here. So do more golden frog eggs. So I'm gonna have to make that back at home. So just in the interest of exploration and knowing if I'm crazy or not, I do want to sort of find out where we are on the map. So that is not a tunnel, but where is this? And can I even stand on this? Because sometimes you get to these areas and they're not, uh, I can look at that. Let's try to find out where we are. So 
I think that's that rock edge that I couldn't get around because there's the ocean. Uh, I'm sort of nervous. That sort of looks like fall through rock. <laughs> so some of the rock that you know, it's it's not quite rendered for you to be able to stand on it. And I, yeah, I can't walk over there. We got an invisible wall. All right, so there's the rainforest. Okay, another invisible wall. I can get back over there. Okay. <laughs> I might have messed up. I'm using the unstuck feature to get out of that area. Very cool. I need to go make some amphibian farms so we can put down these golden eggs. Now we're back to generic frogs. Uh, let's check the bottom of the crater. And we can see if these are just generic eggs as well. Seems like they were a hide a special egg that they might do it like in cool places like the crater. Generic. Generic. So that is a no-go. So I'm going to head back to base, build the uh, new frog habitat area, and is that new? I don't remember there being a ledge that you could go up to. Oh, we got some tokens. I don't know if I need squash seeds. I got plenty of those. Okay, just another little area you can explore. Home sweet home. Let me go figure out what I need for these aquariums because I always forget my recipes. Not aquariums. Amphibian farm, common larva water bottle fertilizer. It's pretty easy. Oh, I need two. Grow more frogs. This is my little frog town. We got gold frogs. Oh wow, they are very gold. So moving forward, I'm going to do a bit more grinding. Man, I guess that's not even that grind-like <laughs> because I am going to be launching these rockets out, getting a whole bunch of tokens. I mean, just storing up an insane amount of tokens. I'm going to do a little bit more research into, you know, did I miss anything with the new area? And I'll come back if I make any new discoveries. I just thought about something too. Oh, hey. You're coming with me, generic frog. Because I built this, I could put the frogs on top of the butterflies and it won't look like a stupid mess. Check it out. So I'm going to do that too. I'm going to build a whole bunch of those uh, frog displayers. Some bark. I don't know how many frogs there are. 
but I'm going to try to get them all on display here so I can do another like little summary video of all the different species types that I found and then the community can get involved and let me know if I missed one. That's a good start. I'm going to go out here, see if I have any more frog eggs that aren't generic. Generic, generic, traju. Generic is 100, traju is 300, we'll put that in there for now. And I want more frogs. I hope they add more stuff to unlock, just, just because this has been really fun. I like this mechanic, I think it adds a lot to the game. And it gives people like us, I don't know, I'm, I'm almost thinking that I wish they wouldn't have updated it to make it less grindy. I mean, you need to have like end game stuff. You need to have stuff that people would have spent a lot of time in your game and built ridiculous <laughs> setups like this can use to feel like, okay, well I can finally unlock the really cool stuff. But it is what it is. I'm, I'm, that's just my two cents. Give, give some end game stuff would be really exciting. Let's find out what these red boys are down here. Nothing in that one. Kenjos. A couple extra around here. Because we have several, like three of the Kenjos. I, and, and I know for a fact I am probably saying all of those wrong. <laughs> and I thought of something else too with the... With the larva. I'm wondering if the one that I'm missing is a common larva. I'm in fabric. I want to test that too. Just while, while, while my brain is uh, thinking about it. We have a common larva. Yeah, I've got all those out. Nope. It don't work. But I'm going to leave that, just in case I find something new. Well, that is all i got right now. If I do discover some more stuff about that new area or any more things that I can share, I will post that in this video. But uh, if not, and you get to this point, and I'm doing the outro, then you know I didn't find anything else. All right, this has been Dig the Game, playing at Crafter. I mean, found a lot of stuff I didn't think I would find. I came here just to do the base tour and I'll show you all the, the new structures and the things that you can build and how cool these new rooms looked and domes. But that's all I got for now. Y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you on the next Dig the Game. Take care, everybody.